So I was hanging out in pro Warzone player Aiden stream and I saw him building a striker night class setup. I was just sitting there editing some videos, just really using my ears. And I watched and I looked over and I saw a setup that looked pretty good. It's similar to mine, but also a different approach at the same time. So obviously he builds his setups more focused towards Warzone. I build mine more focused towards multiplayer. But when I was staring at the attachments, I realized, you know what? That actually could be pretty viable over in multiplayer. Think of it like a longer range type of SMG. So he was building it out for sniper support just in case you need to put away a sniper rifle and you need to take some not only close range but medium range fights. So it's not the fastest moving build on the planet, but it actually focuses a lot more on things like damage range. Pretty good setup. I have no complaints on that front. If you guys want to see some other pro player setups, make sure you guys go down to the comment section and let me know. So starting us off here with an optic, we have the MK3 reflector. Personally, I like the iron sights, but this is his setup. So this is what he was running. Obviously, you don't have to run this. If you don't want to, you can run a different scope or the iron sights. But for the authenticity of the build, he was going with the MK3 reflector. Over here to a stock, we have the Lockman Recon Series stock, giving you gun kick control, aiming out of sway, and recoil control. The aiming out of sway is nice and all, but it's mainly for that gun kick control and recoil control. This is a big part of the build when it comes down to medium range fights here. So we got 24.7% to the gun kick control, 5% to the vertical and horizontal recoil control. As you can see, the gun kick control is a bit above average when it comes down to especially SMGs. It does kick quite a bit, but this stock takes care of 24% of what was there. For your magazine, we have the 50 round drum. So in multiplayer, you don't normally see people running the largest ammo capacities. He's running in a quad on war zone, so it's a much different story. So personally, I would probably go with like the 40 round mag, but for the once again, authenticity sake, we are going with the 50 round drum here. Over here to a muzzle with the L4R flash hider for recoil control, gun kick control, muzzle flash concealment. Muzzle flash concealment really doesn't do too much in this game. It's not like Modern Warfare 2 where you have a ton of muzzle flash, but the recoil control is legit here. We get 13% across the board, making it once again a very important attachment when it comes down to your medium range fights. And our final attachment here is going to be focusing on maximizing your damage range with the Striker Recon Long Barrel. It's going to increase it here by 18.3% and along with 14% towards your bullet velocity. Like I said, this is going to be considered sniper support, meaning it's going to be a good medium range weapon. You're going to need to maximize that damage range. So the barrel does a very, very good job of doing so along with that paired up with the recoil attachments. And you kind of got a winner here, not the fastest killing weapon in the game, but it 100% is pretty easy to hit shots with. Here's all your attachments as always if you guys wanted to copy these ones down. I don't have much to say more regarding this weapon. It's a little different than some of my previous builds. Is it my favorite? Absolutely not, but it definitely did the job, and I could definitely see where someone would prefer this one over maybe some of my faster pace builds. Here's also the rest of the loadout if you guys wanted to copy that down. We're going to jump over into a couple gameplays to feature Aiden's Striker 9 setup here. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button as always. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I randomly jumped into Aiden's, if you guys know who Aiden is, a Warzone streamer, his stream, he's known to also play multiplayer and stuff, but I randomly jumped into his stream and saw him trying out the Striker 9. I watched him build it. This is obviously built more for like Warzone, but I definitely was looking at him like, oh, this actually could probably work here for multiplayer, actually. Just looking at it, I'm like, you know what? The movement on this thing's not bad. The recoil looks pretty low. This could probably work in multiplayer. And I'm like, you know, I kind of want to give this a try because I've mentioned it before. I actually really like using other people's setups because it helps. It kind of influences me to make my own in a way. I saw the guy there. I got to turn around. I'm going to just make sure I don't get shot in the back here. See what I mean by the recoil is pretty easy. We're getting close here to, um, oh, good shot. I just got quick scoped. Holy that sucks. I was two kills off advanced UV. You guys know if I get that, it's, it's done. GG's. Where'd this guy go? Bam. There's the sniper back there. I don't want to take that head on. Let's uh get that guy and then push forward. Actually, they might spawn behind me here. I almost didn't win that. Oh, 
I'm feeling good. Plenty of time if we want to uh, build up to a streak. We just got to get that swarm, of course. The only thing I would change from a multiplayer perspective would probably be this big magazine. Big magazine's not necessary. I'm back on another kill streak here. And I'm getting close here to uh, advance, so I don't want to choke this. Play it patiently, get that advance, work from there. Yeah, my slide button's not doing the slide. That makes things rather difficult, actually, when you need to slide. And you're kind of just jumping. I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to clean the controller. Probably be the easiest thing to do. Huge. Okay, there we go. That's a hill. Well, my swarm did literally shit all. That's unfortunate. Why are they all on the ground? Look at that. They're underground. I'm confused. I'm actually real confused by that one. My whole swarm was just under the map. Where are they going to be? Okay, what's going on in the hill? That no one's really going for it. Friendly cruise missile deployed. That's a friendly. Reloaded. Not this time, pal. I want to go to the hill. Here we go. My hands are cold. I'm going to have to hit like uh, some hand warmers or something. Where's the other guy? There's so much time, but I'm not really getting anything done here. He's got a grenade. Not going to lie, that kind of hurt. Just needed electrolytes. It's a closed game. I want to make sure we win. That's first and foremost. We got the swarm, so the goal is met, but can't be losing either. Going fire. It's a three piece. The guy behind us. Oh, somehow I got that kill. Sure. Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't know how I'm alive. They just spawned on me. Come on in. Not this time. Another swarm. I'm just gonna hit it because I need to get them off the hill. My swarm needs to hit something. That's not good. Just gonna lay here.
There we go. There's a guy on my level right here. Wait, I got an MGB? Was I that close, really? Dude, I must have gotten a crap ton of kills. It didn't feel like I was that close. I'll take it for sure. I kind of just choked there, not gonna lie. There we go, 90. Money. Good kill. I mean, shh. Good kill. I can't say anything about it. They just saw me. Ninety-five. I might be able to squeak out five more. That grenade's killing me. I'm not dead. Four kills. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have for this. We saw him there. Ninety nine, need one kill. There it is. Hundred and one. And Mr. No Name is now leaving the game. That's what I'm talking about. GG's. GG's. Hundred and four. I wasn't going to do a second game because that first one was really good, but I just. I kind of wanted to keep playing. This is going to be my last game of the day. Had to take my. Uh, oh. I was about to say something else, but. That guy thinks he's slick. He thinks I didn't see him. I'm trying to talk at the same time, but this guy's mounted on a wall. I don't know how I'm alive, bro. I just don't know. I just don't know. We're just gonna keep going. There, there. We got more hill kittens. I've been playing a lot of hill kittens today. We're gonna hit a huge flank here. Kill all of them. Get some streaks. I had to fight for those three kills. I had to fight. I had to fight for those seven kills. They're fighting me. I'm going to the hill. So there's still seven seconds left on that and they got a 40 point lead. That's insane. I've played so many hill kittens today that in my team just, they don't even know what the objective is. We saw that guy there. They're gonna spawn here. My team pushed up. My teammates got an Overwatch healer? Okay, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm not used to being carried. I'll take it. I'll take a good carry. And just like that, we're back in the game. Wow, that was a one shot from hell. Jesus Christ.
Well, that guy's not playing. That's why he's anchoring spawn. He's doing it unintentionally. But that's all it takes to literally keep hold of spawn down is just have a guy freaking AFK in the spot where they're supposed to spawn. I got it this time. That's all that matters. We got Baggish, who is trying his little nutsack off. Looks like I'm the one playing Hellkit and my teammates laid out, though. My gosh, I never thought you'd see the day where I'm the, uh, you call me the, you know, the, the term hill kitten can be used loosely, but the person who controls the objective time, never thought you'd see the day, it was me. I'm hoping teammates actually go over there. That'd be very helpful. I would like to get kills. I can't have a whole gameplay of me basically sitting on the hill. It doesn't work that way. Okay, that's what we needed. Make the jump. I'm going to be honest. There's not much from the team that there's giving me redeeming qualities here. I have one guy getting kills, but redeeming qualities, not so much. Of course, we're running this crap. I'm going to lay right here. I don't care. I'll contest. No, I won't. Are you the one running the gas? Someone freaking help me. I'm fighting for my life out here. I am fighting for my life out here. Okay. That's going to be some time, but how much? I don't know. I am. I'm hill kittening the rest of the game. I'm not playing any more games. I will play it with my life. Revenge isn't usually my thing. I actually think they might spawn up top here. I can't hit his hitbox. That was kind of embarrassing. If my team pushes out, it's gonna put us in a bad spot here. Cause I'm the only one playing the hill. What did I say? When they push out, it spawns them up here. No one on my team's touching the damn objective, dude. Like, I need help. I can't have every second of... I'm trying. I'm trying not to rage. Wait, they have seven players on the other team. They have seven players. What the hell happened? No worries. I'll keep pill kittening team. I got you. Again, I'm fighting for my life out here. I have two minutes and 24 seconds. I already know what the comment of the day is. Hill kitten. Hill kitten. Um, if they push me, I'm screwed. Has anybody else had that happen to them where they have seven players on their team? Because I've never seen that before. All right, teammate, if you're holding it. Nope, you're not holding it. That was a huge, I'm going to be honest, that was such a huge cruise missile. We need two seconds to win. I can't go that way because they're all going to spawn on it, but I could hit window if I get lucky. I'm going to need to be lucky. There's a guy up here with me. 
No, I wasn't lucky. I have 72 kills, though. Did somebody jump the damn time, man. You're right there. You're right there. If we lose because we can't get this hill. We might lose. I'm going to be honest. We might lose. Oh, we spawned behind him. We spawned behind him. Let's go. Thank God. That was almost real freaking scary. 75 kills. How much time? Three minutes and 13 seconds. 